hi guys welcome back to a new video if you're new to my channel my name is busola i'm a final year medical student living in nigeria i make videos about medical school health and lifestyle generally if you've not subscribed please hit that subscribe button right now and check out all my other videos i'm sure you'll find it very interesting in today's video like the title says i'm going to be doing a textbook recommendation for preclinical students in nigeria so pretty much preclinical medical students are students in first second and third year from your fourth year to your sixth year you're in your clinicals that means you do rotations in the hospital and whatnot but before that before fourth year you're in your preclinical years where you take classes and do practicals in the lab for the purpose of this video i'm going to be focusing on second and third year medical students majorly because first year medical students don't really do any medicine courses as such they do the same courses as other science students in the university so um in the first year you are not really particularly a part of the college of health sciences or a, a part of the college of medicine so yeah we're just going to be focusing on second and third year medical students if you're interested or you'd like to know more about this topic please keep on watching The major reason why I decided to make this video is because I feel like it would be helpful for medical students, especially medical students who are about to get into second year. Because when I was about to get into second year, I was quite not educated or informed on the kinds of textbooks to get, to be very honest. So what I did pretty much was I, um, I heard about a guy in the college at the time that was selling textbooks. So I just hit him up and I'm like, oh, I want to buy textbooks. What textbooks do you think I should buy? And this guy pretty much sold everything to me. Like he marketed everything to me. Like he didn't really make it seem like, oh, you're not going to need this or just buy one textbook for one course. And, you know, he didn't really advise me, obviously, because he wanted to sell. So I ended up wasting a lot of those textbooks. Um, by not really reading them as much there are some textbooks that i you know just did not use and even if i did use them maybe i just read like maybe a topic from them and whatnot so yeah i am here so that you don't make the kind of mistakes that i made um so yeah before we go on i'm just going to say that i think that all medical students should have all medi medical textbooks what I disagree with, especially if you're on a budget, is buying every and any medical textbook you see. There are pretty much soft copy editions for these textbooks. So um, I think that, yes, get the important ones in hard copy, but the rest that are not particularly important, then just get them in soft copy because a lot of the time you won't even really use it like that. You probably just need to read maybe a topic or two from them. And honestly, you don't need to buy a whole textbook for that. So medical students in preclinicals take three major courses, anatomy, biochemistry, and physiology. So we are just going to be focusing on those three. Anatomy is divided into three courses. Like under anatomy, there are three sub-courses. And we have the gross anatomy, embryology, and histology. So I'm going to be giving textbook recommendations for those three subtopics. So for gross anatomy, I am going to recommend three textbooks, actually, that I think that everybody should you know have in hard copy anatomy is such a broad course and yeah i think that you actually really need those three textbooks i'm going to be mentioning so the first and foremost one is the atlas of anatomy so a small disclaimer here when i want to mention a textbook i will pretty much just mention the name of the author because that's pretty much how we um, refer to textbooks in medical school at least in nigeria you know like we say stuff like do you have netta do you have last um, do you have Sembulingam? And those are the names of the authors. So that is how we specify those textbooks. Even when you go to the bookshop and you want to buy these textbooks, that's actually how, if you tell them the name of the author, they recognize it very quickly. So that's what I'm going to be using in this video. So like I was saying, the first and foremost textbook for gross anatomy that i'm going to recommend is frank netter's atlas of anatomy i feel like every medical student should have that book in hard copy anatomy is such a broad topic and you need to be able to visualize the things that you are reading if not you are going to be very 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 confused so i think that every medical student should have that atlas it is colored you pretty much see every single part of the human anatomy in this atlas so yeah i think it's very important there are some other atlases but this one is what most of us use in medical school in nigeria as far as i know 
The second one I'm going to be recommending is Keep More. This is a very huge book but if you want to know anatomy properly this has to be your anatomy bible it has to you know you have to digest this book you have to you know read it very thoroughly it is very 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 detailed very extensive very explanatory um i would not advise for you to read it for the first time when you are preparing for an exam because it will really 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 waste your time so i won't advise anybody to use this textbook for revision for revising for an upcoming test or an upcoming exam i think that it is more for understanding in depth what the anatomy of the human body really is about during the session so you can't i don't think you should you know use this as a last minute um, book except if you have taken notes on it and you already understand it well so that brings me to the third textbook and that is the last anatomy textbook it is a smaller book and more um, compressed it's a more compressed book more straight to the point and this is a textbook that i would advise for you to use to revise you know you have an exam coming up you have a test coming up you've read a lot in keith Moore. you've read your lecture notes you've attended dissection and so on and you just want to quickly read something to juggle your memory i think this textbook is very 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 good for that i would not advise for you to read it alone to try and understand anatomy like i said it is you know sort of like a summary so i won't advise you to read it like that if not you just seem to be cramming a lot of things honestly so now moving to histology i have two textbook recommendations here and i think that it will be enough for you to actually just buy one of these textbooks and have the other one in soft copy and your choice really depends on what you're really looking for and what your goal is in you know histology um, the first one is Jane Quera. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but the first one is Jane Quera. It is a very, very detailed textbook in for histology. If you want to really know histology well, like if you want all those small, small details, you want to get a distinction in histology, then I think that this textbook is for you. Um, it is very detailed, you know, it's very, very detailed um, textbook and yeah if you are really really looking to have an extensive knowledge on a topic in histology i think that jenkora is your guy now for the second textbook the second textbook is in the basting you guys i may be murdering these names but please forgive me second textbook is in the basting's textbook for histology that is if i'm not wrong an indian book and the reason why i personally like this book is because of how simplified it is it's pretty much like histology for dummies it is very simplified you know it's colored as well and yeah you won't really get as much detail as you would get in jinquera but you would you know get a more simplified version of every topic if you just want to have um surface to mid-level understanding in a particular topic i think that in the basing is your guy and so yeah it just depends on what you're really going for and what you're really trying to achieve in histology so the last one is embryology and i have just one recommendation for you guys and it is the langman's embryology textbook this textbook is you know pretty much what as far as i know all of us used in for embryology everyone had this textbook it's a very good very detailed textbook in embryology but yeah i think that if you have that you are set on embryology it's very detailed actually like almost everything that you are taught in class would most likely be there so yeah definitely buy that book for embryology now to the second course biochemistry so for biochemistry i don't really have a lot of information for you guys on that because to be honest i did not really read textbooks for biochemistry in preclinicals the reason why is that when i was in preclinicals um in my school biochemistry was very tailored to class you know the classes were very extensive the notes were a lot and they made it in a way that if you read the notes like if you just read your notes if you attended classes and you read your notes for your exams you would pass and you would pass well like they hardly ever 
really asked questions outside of the notes that you were given so i didn't really read textbooks like that i just went back to textbooks a few times to understand topics but i pretty much just used my lecture notes for biochemistry in preclinicals so i may not really have a lot of knowledge on textbooks to use in biochemistry so forgive me but yeah these i have two recommendations for you guys and i think a couple more that you may want to look into i've actually never used those other two before but yeah the first one is harper's harper's is very detailed um very good textbook if you want like i said if you want the um the stuff like you say in medical school like if you want the real stuff then yeah read harper's if you want to understand a topic in depth go to Harper's and read it. Um, the second textbook is Vasudevan. Vasudevan is a simplified biochemistry textbook. It's quite easy to understand, quite easy to grasp. It is not that detailed. You won't really get in-depth knowledge, but if you just want to have surface um, level knowledge on a particular topic, read Vasudevan, very good. So the other two textbooks that I am recommending that I don't really know much about, are limping cut and brs biochemistry so yeah you, sh you could check that out as well so like i said just buy one or two of these textbooks don't buy all of them so now for the last course physiology physiology for physiology i am recommending three textbooks and i would also like i said like i always say i would also recommend for you to just have one in hard copy and the rest in soft copy so the first one that i am recommending that i think is really 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 good is guiding guiding for me is like the bible of physiology whatever it is you are looking for about physiology you would find in guiding it is very 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 good like if you are looking to understand physiology properly definitely read guiding it has a twin sister or sort of like a competition and it is ganong ganong is the second textbook also very detailed i never read it i never bought ganong because i just thought that guiding was enough but i know people who swear by ganong as well you know but i am a guiding girl now for the last one i am going to be recommending sembulingam again it is i think i'm not sure you guys i think an indian textbook very simplified i had this textbook and if i was not looking to read a particular topic in depth or i didn't want to waste my time on it particularly or i just wanted to get you know um, beginner level knowledge i would read sembulingam sembulingam is very simpli simplified as well like i said for the other simplified textbooks for the other courses if you are planning to get you know a distinction or whatever do not just read sembulingam alone but yeah it's like a good textbook for you to just understand the basics and a little more like i said it depends on what you're looking for so i'm not going to be discussing pharmacology in this video because in my own school we did not do pharmacology in preclinicals we did pharmacology in clinicals 400 level and i know that some schools actually do pharmacology in in preclinicals in 300 level but we did not do that so um, pharmacology textbook recommendations will be coming in the second part of this video um, for clinical textbook recommendations so yeah look out for that and finally for medical dictionaries I stupidly went and bought two medical dictionaries you guys I bought Stedman the huge one and the small Oxford and you guys I can tell you that in my entire time in medical school I'm in final year now in my entire time in medical school I can count the number of times that I actually opened either of these dictionaries you guys so personally I don't think you'll be at a complete disadvantage if you don't have a medical dictionary you can have one on your phone okay and you can keep googling stuff but yeah if you are going to buy a dictionary just buy one and i would advise you to just buy the small oxford <laughs> that's coming from me who has you know the huge steadmans and the small oxford because yeah personally i believe that it was a waste of money to have bought that in preclinicals honestly and even now i don't use it that much so yeah that brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did give it a
thumbs up hey guys i would like you to do something for me help me share this video with your family and your friends and i would particularly appreciate it if you take a screenshot of this video and put it on your instagram story and tag me it will really really help my growth we are trying to hit 1k we are almost we are almost there you guys we are almost there so yeah please help me spread the word thank you guys so much for your love and your support and yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to be kind to yourself and be kind to others i'll see you in my next one bye